FGM. Mm -hmm. Boys do not go through that. Mm -hmm. That girls are being raped. Mm -hmm. Girls are being killed. Yeah. Girls are being abducted. Yes. So I still feel there mm -hmm. is something missing. Mm -hmm. uh, three days ago, I was reading an article in Nigeria yeah. where a 15 year old girl was abducted and killed. Ah. And the family took about four months uh -huh. to find the body, uh -huh. which already had decomposed. Wow. Uh -huh. And the government of Nigeria had done nothing. Wow, welcome. This is another Saturday and I want to assure you this is the show that I've always promised you that you cannot afford to miss. And we gather here every Saturday so that we can get impactful information that will help us to change our times, that will help us to, you know, to change our generation and probably be people that can be relied upon in the days to come. You know, days are gone where young people, you know, are uh, giving up on life. Uh, young people are giving up on the issues of life. And that is why we always gather here for a very serious and an amazing conversation so that we can keep you informed and uh, we deal with every form of misinformation. So on this Saturday, we have a wonderful a guest, a beautiful girl over here that is going to engage us on uh, an, a, a very amazing conversation. You cannot afford to miss this. I'm going to welcome her to introduce herself as uh, we get roll on the topic. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, who are you? Who is with us today? Uh, what do you do? And uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Thank you so much for this chance. My name is Susan Mwende Mutoni. I'm an IT expert and also a girl child activist. And I believe that's where I'm here today. Yes, a girl child activist. When you hear of a girl child activist, what should come into your mind is that how and what we are going to do, how we are going to do, how we are Anyway, uh, today and uh, this um, uh, Saturday, we are geared into getting to a number of issues that pertain uh, the girl child, and this is that's why we have a uh, uh, this a uh, beautiful girl child over here, uh, Susan Mwende. Uh, she said, and uh, she's going to she'll be informing us on a number of issues now. Uh, 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 of late, or in this season, there is a conversation that is uh, revolving around, that is uh, moving around, and uh, uh, everybody is on, uh, you know, the girl child, everybody is on, uh, you know, the ladies, everybody is on, uh, you know, uh, the women, wame saulika, wame achidiwa, wame okumbukwa, wame teswa, you know, all this kind of uh, 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 conversation that is uh, uh, revolving around. And uh, um, um, I don't know why I am feeling like uh, the conversation is being exaggerated. <laughs> uh, is the conversation being exaggerated or there is something that we don't know about the girl child? Well, I, it's not being exaggerated. It's uh -huh. true. It's not really that the girl child, Amesa uh -huh. what is happening is I think we've empowered the girl child more mm -hmm. and forgotten the boy child. Uh -huh. And now the boy child and a complain, uh -huh. girl child and a Empowered. So there is so much that has been done to the girl child that uh, makes the boy child to feel that uh, I am not, I'm not, I'm not in my rightful position, or rather, my rightful position is being taken. Something like that. All right. Ah, uh, now today we are on the plight of the girl child, and uh, 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 before we, we get into so much uh, details about this, uh, basically when we talk about the plight of uh, the girl child, being uh, you know, I've been trying to follow up on what you've been doing on uh, uh, different places, on uh, uh, different areas, and I've realized that there is so much that you are doing uh, for the girl child. You know, you are out there on FGM, you are out there on you know on what uh, the, the the girls on girls position i've been following up on what you are doing even on politics you know i'm out there to see what uh, uh, you are doing and i realize that uh, there is so much that you can you can address as much as uh, the girl child is concerned now when you talk about uh, the plight of the girl child what are we talking about we're talking so many things uh -huh. we are talking about the importance of saving a girl child uh -huh. we are talking about the issues or mm. the basic needs of a girl child uh -huh. basically it's the pride of being a girl child the plight of being a, a, a the girl pride child. of being a girl child uh -huh. is it um 
Uh, is there a, a way that in our society or in our uh, probably the, the, the African uh, setup in our in our community in our uh, the, 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 the religious uh, part of it the academic part of it the political part of it that you feel that uh, the role of uh, the girl child is not um, being played perfectly absolutely I feel so because mm -hmm. Number one, the sub sal and girl child, mm -hmm. especially in this third world country, yeah. they're still being endangered because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every day we read on news, we mm -hmm. read on articles mm -hmm. that girls are being raped, mm -hmm. girls are being killed, yeah. girls are being abducted. Yes, so yes. I still feel there is mm -hmm. something missing, mm -hmm. even with the effort from the civil societies, mm -hmm. NGOs, mm -hmm. they have still not achieved mm -hmm. their goals or their mission yeah for instance in the in our country kenya you yeah. find a girl is raped today yeah the case takes two years mm -hmm. to get a ruling or a judgment wow so the effort in uh -huh. saving our girl child okay we we, we are on a girl child and you mentioned something and uh, do we have, ca have cases of boys being raped <laughs> <laughs> yes so it do we stay so do it happens uh -huh. And I, there are civil societies also mm -hmm. that look into such matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, there's something that you mentioned that, that so many things are happening to to the girl child and uh, uh, okay, so many uh, there are so many issues that are not addressed. Yes. They are not uh, that are not brought into light. That uh, you know, this is what our girls are going through. This is what cases are going through in court. This is what is being done uh, to these girls. Now, um, my main question on this is: uh, uh, Is girl child and becoming an endangered species? Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Especially in the third world countries, uh -huh. Kenya being one. Mm -hmm. uh, three days ago, I was reading an article in Nigeria yeah. where fifteen. Here, old girl was abducted and killed, ah. and the family took about four months uh -huh. to find the body, uh -huh. which already had decomposed. Wow. Uh -huh. And the government of Nigeria had done nothing. Uh -huh. And it is also happening in our day-to-day -day lives in, in mm -hmm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. Girls are raped, yeah. they are killed, mm -hmm. and even when you take to the law, mm -hmm. the law takes too long mm -hmm. to, to give judgment or justice. Yeah. So girls are still endangered because mm -hmm. they are not getting the protection yeah. as they should get. In um, the, the, the plight of the girl child, in uh, the girl child becoming an endangered species and what they are going through and what they are experiencing. Now, in this case, who is to blame? Uh, in this the case... The government, the parents, no, the girl case, themselves. Everyone is uh, involved. The, the, the education, the, who is to blame? Start with the parents uh -huh. because everything starts at home. Yeah. When we wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. We go out and we come back, we come back home. Yes. So everything about protection and security mm. yeah. must begin with our parents. Mm -hmm. So the first blame, according to me or in my opinion, mm -hmm. I would blame the parents. There is a community in our country or rather a tribe that believes Mwanamuke akipanya makosa lazima anyoroshe vizuri. There is a girl that has been brought up akiona mamake anatandikwa vizuri. Hata akikosa kutandikwa anakumbusha mzee anamwambia leo unjaniguza. <laughs> now, is there something in our culture that is uh, misleading to the girl child? Well, yes, the traditions. Uh -huh. You know right now to a generation kuna generation X, mm -hmm. kuna Z. Yeah. So a lot of things have changed, mm -hmm. technology being one. Yeah. Right now, Utapata was channel called TikTok, mm -hmm. uh, Kuko, Instagram. Yeah. A lot of those, the, like the conversation we used to have with our parents. Mzazi mm anakukalisha -hmm. chini. Yeah. Mna have a conversation about life. Yeah. And maybe a woman kind of a conversation. Mm -hmm. We don't have those in the current generation. Unanunulia msichana simu, and that's it. Bus. Nevo tu. Uh -huh. TikTok. TikTok. I'm not saying TikTok is bad because Instagram. you can make money out mm -hmm. of those technology, yeah. uh -huh. but we are not exhausting yeah. the use of technology mm -hmm. in the plight of a girl child. Right. The, our parents, same to Sahau, but Pia, you where you uh -huh. could sit with your girls, with your boys, with uh -huh. your kids, uh -huh. talk to them about life, social yeah. life. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. In fact, I was engaging someone in Walikuwa uh -huh. They don't even know how to approach their, their girls right now, uh -huh. their adolescents. Mm -hmm. 
at that age awajua ra venye watawambia yeah. and you're like you're a woman you've uh-huh. been brought up by your mom uh-huh. so it's time you mentor like uh-huh. we are lacking that bit of mentorship uh-huh. from our parents so the mentorship uh, part of it is lacking in uh, the girl child um why do you feel that uh, it is important now to save the the, the girl child basically uh-huh. uh, girls grow to mothers yes and that's where we are here today yeah if mothers never existed mm-hmm. we would not exist as well mm-hmm. so i feel number one, when you save a girl child mm-hmm. you're saving humans from extinction yeah that it will never come a day mm-hmm. there are no y- human beings mm-hmm. so yeah. by saving a girl who translates mm-hmm. to a woman mm-hmm. you're saving human from extincting mm-hmm. so I, i also feel as women mm-hmm. we need to work to ensure that a girl child mm-hmm. gets um, every opportunity mm-hmm. to realize their potential yeah we need to celebrate women we need mm-hmm. to celebrate girls mm-hmm. we need to educate them yeah. and we also need to empower them mm-hmm. because once you empower a girl yeah you empower a community mm-hmm. and when you empower a community yeah. a nation is empowered uh-huh. we also see that mothers are the greatest gift in the world mm-hmm. because if mothers don't exist we also don't exist you uh-huh. don't be existing uh-huh. if no mothers are not there is, there is, there is, um, as i think that there is a conversation that is uh, going around in our country about uh, the, the the ladies about the women and uh, rather what is the position of the ladies in our society You see right now um women have been liberated. Uh-huh. That's why I talked about generation X yes. and Z. Yeah. Okay, personally I feel mm. liberated. That's why I can be able to do a lot of things. Yeah. I can be able to activate mm. mm-hmm. myself mm-hmm. and fight for so many things yes. from politics, uh-huh. environment, yes. wildlife, uh-huh. women, uh-huh. girls and all that. Yeah. Because I'm liberated. My mind is liberated. Mm-hmm. I can fight yes. for everything that I feel because I'm empowered. Uh-huh. So if ladies are empowered if girls are empowered uh-huh. in our country yes. they can do much much more mm-hmm. but that empowerment is lacking why because the generation we are dealing with mm-hmm. have indulged into other things drug yes. abuse sexual abuse mm-hmm. you get all this goes back to parents mm-hmm. education yeah. our girls getting the right education Mm-hmm. the the basic structure of a family where they are growing mm-hmm. is it rightful yeah are they being monitored mm-hmm. are they being mentored mm-hmm. that's why unaona kuna hizi stories za girl totos you know what and all mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. but all that goes back to our tradition mm-hmm. and how we carry out our things down from the family mm-hmm. from home from the society mm-hmm. to the community and to the nation this this is something that i was uh, following up um uh, sometimes back on uh, on the girls in schools and uh, how they are treated you know their life and whatever and uh, their needs and uh, uh, some people are talking about um uh, how some girls you know they they face uh, so many problems in terms of uh, dealing with uh, you know the wastes on uh, the, the, the the sanitary pans and whatever in schools so they're talking about um, um are these things being addressed is this information reaching the schools or is just uh, you know it's just done on media then evaporate i don't think it's being addressed uh-huh. you know like for instance it's not just girls uh-huh. we have girls who have disabilities yeah and mostly they are the most affected mm-hmm. because you can imagine a girl on wheelchair mm-hmm. and they have to dispose their center oh, yeah. towel so what means that day or two days they will not go to school Uh-huh, yeah. They'll miss the, the 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 part of education mm-hmm. almost two days three days in a month no, because uh, we are lacking uh, uh, the we are lacking the resources. Yeah. The resources are not put into place into those schools mm-hmm. to cater for girl child. Yes. Maybe for these international schools mm-hmm. but public schools they don't have those facilities. According to you uh, between uh, the girl child and the boy child who has more challenges in life? Girls. <laughs> okay, both are children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a uh, girl child so I have to say about us. Eh the the agenda the the agenda is it uh, who has more Sick challenges? Te- 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 it's reality. <laughs> mm-hmm. You see you cannot actually compare the challenges mm-hmm. faced by girl child. For instance. Okay you seen girl child. Okay, okay now okay. I want you to give us the challenges that are faced by girl child as compared to the boy child. Okay number one. Uh-huh. FGM. Mhm. Boys do not go through that. Yeah. FGM is um currently it's a threat. Yeah. In 
2022. Yeah, you, have been, uh, you have been doing so much on it. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Currently in 2022, we have about 4.2 million girls what? globally who are supposed to almost uh -huh. undergoing that uh, barbaric uh -huh. action. Yeah. It's sad. It's disorienting. Mm -hmm. It's discouraging because once a girl goes through that process, mm -hmm. it disturbs their mental stability. Yeah. It disturbs their childhood growth because some grow ni kama yani wametengwa, you know. Yeah. And you know when people are growing, mm -hmm. you want to see unajua watu wanaonyesha na vinye huko. So they, there is kind of an embarrassment that grows and it lowers their self esteem. Mm -hmm. From from the mentality part of it yeah. to the act to, to the act mm -hmm. to disturbs a lot. Yeah. So that's one of the main thing, one yeah. of the main reason, or rather, mm -hmm. an issue compared yeah. to the boy child. We have the early mm -hmm. child, uh, early girl child marriage yeah. in some communities and in our country. Mm -hmm. This also happens all over the world, mm -hmm. but based to where I am in our country, mm -hmm. we have still community who believes. Uh, like a family, mm -hmm. na madeni, na wako na msichana. Wata mm -hmm. setuizo madeni, na msichana. Yeah. Wow. In wana kiko msichana, wana tataka wana, muzee. Yeah, wana mpea. Wana Kasu mpea. Mdiflani. Exactly. Yeah. It's happening because I've been to Malsabit. Mm -hmm. I've been to the other part of the country. Ukuna manga, like yesterday I was in Amanga. Yes. And those are some of the sad stories. Mm -hmm. You're listening to young girls. I was yeah. in a rescue center yesterday with my team. Mm -hmm. Where we met young girls mm -hmm. as Little as three, four, five, mm -hmm. married off. Huh? Yes. It's four years. happening. Yes. Four years married. They are in a rescue center. See, I'm a piano and a queer, and a familiar. To become uh. a wife of someone who has maybe two or more wives. It's a. Uh. Then that is very serious. Yeah, it is. Is, is. is the government sensitive for what is happening? Or rather the, the organizations that are involved? I, I really don't want to criticize the government. They are trying uh -huh. because we can see the rescue centers yes. being supported. Uh -huh. But the government of Kenya is not supporting those rescue center and foundations or fully. Or the necessary support. Eh? It's not getting. Because you see, kama ni mtu wakona mali, corruption will come through. Yeah, exactly. Nothing will exactly. be done. But when you go to developed countries uh -huh. and such a thing happens, mtu uh anashikwa -huh. uh -huh. and the law takes it its nature. Sasa uh, hey, hey, sasa ukishikwa ukiwa na tupesa unatoa tupesa. Eh yeah, na hiyo maneno inaisha. Na msichana wenyewe anaendelea. Anaenda tu hivyo. Kuumia. Mm. Eh hey, so the girl child is uh, there, are, there are so many challenges that is uh, that are facing the girl child as compared to the boy child. It's true. Uh -huh. And like you are talking yeah. about uh, menstruation. Mhm. Mm you find uh, girls don't go to school yeah. because they will feel embarrassed. Mm -hmm. we've, stigmatized, we've stigmatized that natural process yeah. in schools, even yeah. in our society. Uh -huh. So that does not give a girl child a pot uh, the full potential to even participate in community-based uh, programs back at home. Mm -hmm. They will feel stigmatized. Yeah. And uh, on Saturday, which is 28th May, mm -hmm. it's normally the world menstrual hygiene day. Uh -huh. And this year theme was um, making menstruation mm -hmm. a normal fact of life uh -huh. by 2030. And I hope everyone, the men, mm -hmm. our fathers, our yeah. brothers, can treat it as a normal thing. It's uh -huh. a natural thing. Mm -hmm. It's not by our design. Yeah. We were created that way. And that's how it should be. And we should see it as a normal. It's normal. Natural. It's natural. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've stigmatized it. Mm -hmm. We've, made, it, we've mm -hmm. made girls to go through stigma because of that period of the month. Now, from some of these uh, challenges, from um, where you sit, from your perspective, from what you have um, uh, gathered, from what you have researched, from the experience that you have, uh, which are some of uh, the solutions that we can provide? Uh, as you now, as a person, what do you think that should be done that should help uh, the girl child, you know, to stop some of these uh, challenges? You see, it's these challenges that uh, girl, girl child do not live to their dreams. Uh -huh. They do not achieve their goals. Yeah. So there is a lot. But the, the solution must be, as in, ita, ina kakila mtu lazima play a role yake. Uh -huh. Unona? Mm -hmm. Me as Susie, I have to play my role. Yes. If it's educating, uh -huh. if it's doing activation and act, activism, mm -hmm. I have to do that. If it's campaign and awareness, mm -hmm. I, need, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. But the most thing is, uh, we need to have resources. Yeah in schools mm. and back even in our communities. Yes. So this comes again 
from up there. The mm. government must ensure mm. security is mm. well provided. Yeah. And by security, I don't mean CC to pay uh, my security guard. Uh -huh. What I'm saying, I'm not saying to pay uh, uh, and GSU, my mm. police and APs. I mean, mm. we need policies mm. that um, protect girl child. Mm -hmm. These FGM, policies, these, eh? the policies, mm -hmm. and they need to be enacted. So yeah. our leaders must play a role in that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why there are so many there are so many girls uh, out there that uh, probably usually uh, start very well. You know, they are very optimistic about life. They have uh, you know they they have very big uh, goals and dreams, but they are not achieved. Why do you feel that it is so hard for a girl child to achieve their dreams? One, it's poverty. Uh -huh. You see, in poverty, from where some of us have grown, uh -huh. you find you don't even go to school. Yeah. So you're lacking that good accessibility of mm -hmm. good education. Yeah. Without education, it becomes so difficult to achieve some of the things. Mm -hmm. Even simple education, mm -hmm. where you get to class 8 or form 4, mm -hmm. some of our girls don't get to that. Yeah. So they will struggle mm -hmm. with a lot of obstacles that comes along with poverty. Mm -hmm. You will find... For instance, uh, mm -hmm. as part of since we had this COVID-19, mm -hmm. we had a lot of uh, cases yeah. from our sisters mm -hmm. who have gone to work abroad. Yes. Majority don't even go to abroad to work mm -hmm. because of they want to really go to work. Yes. It's the circumstances mm -hmm. that force them to go to work. Yes. Some are even trafficked. Mm -hmm. There is human trafficking, by the way, even yeah. in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And majority of these people who are trafficked mm -hmm. are young girls. Una traffic, kiwa unenda uko inje unakuwa slave. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we are, the poverty part bit of it, I mm -hmm. feel it contributes a lot to girls achieving their dreams. Mm -hmm. Because uh, like 130 million mm -hmm. girls globally mm -hmm. currently by 2022, they don't have access to good schools. They don't have access. 130 million. 130 million. They do not access good education. Mm -hmm. What that means is our parents are not able mm -hmm. to even protect us. Yeah. Because if I cannot go to school, that means even at home I cannot eat anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So kuna zile mashida zina ito na umaskini, mm -hmm. zina prolong even other mashida zingine kufanya sisi kama. Zina zaana. Zina zaana tu. Hii na leta hii. But yeah. all comes from poverty. Mm -hmm. Because if, we, if our girls are empowered, mm -hmm. educated, mm -hmm they will become financially independent. Mm -hmm. And with financial independence, you can solve a lot of things. These girls, once they are empowered, wanapigania nafasi ya mwanaume, mara equality, mara but what, But it's true, we need equality. <laughs> sasa hii hi equality, sasa unashindwa, na hata kwa baibu, unajua baibu inasema mwanaume yawe kichwa, unaye mungina kue chingu, wama ni migu. Sasa, eh, Wakikuwa empowered, wanaleta shinda. They want positions, they want power, they want office. Na <laughs> no, kini makiria kazi yao ni kusaidia pale wapike, watengeneze mzea kai sawasawa. What I think is, yeah. even when we empower girls and women, uh -huh. they still need to be submissive. Uh -huh. submissive as, yeah. as now, now the religion part of it. Uh -huh. But you see again, this submissive comes again uh -huh. with other impact. Unapata uh -huh. you're so submissive. Uh -huh. But maybe to the man or to your boyfriend, and mm -hmm. Now again, we experience another problem: mm -hmm. gender-based violence. <laughs> but, <laughs> but again, I know, hey. but again, for gender-based violence, I, eh? I didn't discuss it as a major issue because yeah. even currently, men are facing the same. Yes, yes. Actually, yes. they are yes. facing the same. Lakini amonge angi, wanaume angi. <laughs> but it's because the society the society again what I feel about this whole thing about empowering a, a girl child mm -hmm. and then the boy child feels like we are we are fighting for that equality yes. from position to everything uh -huh. and like we are feeling like we are still equal. Uh -huh. No, there is a saying that what a man can do, a woman can do better. Not everything. Uh, <laughs> in Amalizanga, what a man can do, a woman can, can do, do better uh, because they have seen it being done. <laughs> it is a man who did it, then they saw so, it, then they have done it. In my opinion, uh -huh. I feel also we need to empower the girl child, yes, uh -huh. but also we need to respect the religious part of it. Part of it yeah. Girls still need to remain submissive. Mm -hmm. But even with submissive, now the boy child need to appreciate mm -hmm that the girls are submissive. When we fight for position, for leadership, it's mm -hmm. because we believe in ourselves. Yes. We believe we can become better leaders than men mm -hmm. because we've seen men leaders mm -hmm. and not achieve anything. We've yes. seen men leading us and they are not leading us maybe in the right way we feel represented. Wow, this is uh, Susan Mwende.
in our studios eh? is it true what a boy can do a girl can do <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes eh? yeah, it's true Okay, it's good, and I will tell you that now that this is a, this is a, a Susan saying that um, that uh, the girl child shouldn't be empowered. And actually, as you mentioned about empowerment, as you mentioned about the education about uh, the girl child, eh, I've realized that there's people that are well educated, the people that are uh, well empowered, eh, they submit. Our nanga shinda is vitu anaereva. Lakini yao wengine ni unjuanji tu na mashinda na kusumbua. They are fighting for their space. Yes, they are fighting yeah. for their space. Now, the, 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 the big issue is, I think they need to be empowered. Eh? And then they should also get the right information at uh, the right time. Okay, now, because I'm being told that uh, our time is up and uh, be so much aligned, uh, aligned up for us, eh? I will ask you... Uh, one more question, uh, probably in uh, a specific area. What do you tell that girl who is out there who feels that uh, I'll never make it in life, I'll never become a responsible girl in life? What do you tell them? Uh, I want to tell them that um, it's our time as women and girls yeah. to run the world. Yeah. And uh, we must raise our voices. Uh -huh. Our voices must be raised up. Uh -huh. Lazima to skike, we must act and we must take the space in leadership roles because I believe that little girl's dreams uh -huh. or, or rather a little girl with a dream uh -huh. grows and becomes a woman with a vision. Wow. Ay, I think that should have been your parting shot or the parting shot is still coming. I think I've finished. <laughs> Because it's oh, almost the same what I would wow. advise them to do and what I would part telling them. I think you can just <laughs> you can conclude. I, I, you know, that one really captured, really captured me. Baga ni kaskia ni kama pia kuwa nga wal chanti ni mzuri. Lakini mimi ni boy chanti. Ebu, eka hapo tena, eka hapo. It's coming out very nicely, yeah? Mm. Yes. So what I would say as a parting shot is, yes. it's our time as women and girls mm -hmm. to run the world. We need to raise our voices. Uh -huh. We need to act. We must stand up for ourselves. Uh -huh. We need to take up those spaces wow. and leadership roles because a little girl with a dream grows to, grows old becomes a woman with a vision. Wow. Sasa kuna mtu anaangalia hivi anasema huyu mtu bwana she is so loaded. Uko na mtu. Eh kuna mtu sasa anaangalia na visa sasa kama kama uko na mtu. Niwapatie namba 07. Eh kadri mimi niwapatie namba. Unajua sasa wakiona mtu anaongea vizuri hivi visa boy child eh anaanza kusikia apewe namba. Ndio wapatie namba yake ni 07. Yeye wengine nitamalizia. Now this has been dialogue at the well and I want to tell you this has been Susan Mwende in our studios and uh, she is really empowering the girl child. Uh, she says that it is their time to take their space in the world. It is their time to lead. It is their time to take their position. And uh, uh, it, is, it is good. And by the way, it is encouraging. It is good when the girl child is empowered. Another great man says that uh, a, a house without a woman is like a river without a source. So these people are very important and we value them. They are Thank crucial you. and very important in our lives. So keep attuned on Wema TV every Saturday in your favorite show, Dialogue at the Well, with me, your host, Duiga Prince, every Saturday. See you on Saturday and uh, stay tuned. We love you. You are wonderful people. God bless you.